Don't be blown Oh, like yeah, don't be blown at this camera. Okay. You're fine, but this is a talk. If I have to have another talk, it's bad, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Oh, yo. My favorite thing that, like, people use that's like that is, uh, the story behind the tomahawk. Oh, what? I, I've heard it, but I can't remember what it is. There was, uh, uh, there was this Roy player who, like, watched a movie or something about, like, Native Americans. And, like, he... Yeah. Made his name, like, Tomahawk Warrior or something. And he would just, like, short hop forward smash people. That's it. Yeah, I, I, I really hate that. I found it, it's just so dumb. The name's kind of distasteful too. Yeah. I mean, but it's, it's it's just called an empty hop. Like, there's no yeah. reason to call it something else. I mean, I just think it's dumb that the dude like watched a movie and like that's it. Like, bro, I just watched The Last of the Mohicans. Changed my life. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm gonna make it my gamer tag. <laughs> Gotta love it. I, in response, I will be changing my gamer tag to Jack. Also, could have fit on the door, guys. Uh, this another hot take from Tumblr in 2008. <laughs> Yo, the back throw into up till. I, I mean. I hate that I feel the need to defend oh. myself, but no, unironically, that's a terrible point. Like, have you ever seen a movie, guys? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if Game Boy is the red one. Because I think Game Boy is not Game Dark. Okay, so you can go. Oh, hold on. You can never tell with these two. It's like they roll dice every time they play. They RPS for it. They definitely don't. They should RPS for it. Every time. They yeah. RPS. Actually, it would be so sick to RPS for game one. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I mean... That's gonna be our custom set death oh. rules. You just RPS? Oh, to if, uh, if, if it's, uh, bracket goes on longer than Walmart stays open, you, the rest of your sets are just RPS. <laughs> never, I would never protect them. I don't feel like I'd be laughed out of the community immediately after. Nah, I would force people to do it on a batch. It's like, I would be like, well, you can split the pot or you can play RPS. <laughs> Okay, idea, smash, real life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just set a ring, like I can draw a ring, and whoever throws their opponent out of the ring. I believe that's that... sumo wrestling. True. Or it's uh, also a WWE format. True. Oh, really? it, okay. Yeah, they, what we'd be doing would be more like that, because okay. sumo, you're not, well, Maybe you're allowed to pick them up in sumo, but it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Yo, I never even thought about that. Yeah, I have... I don't know anything about the rules of sumo. Dude, sometimes I watch sumo wrestling live on Twitch, and I don't understand it, but it's interesting. Combat? You really don't have to know about a lot about a combat sport. For it, 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 it's a combat sport. Dude, large men push each other around in a circle and they yell. That's as far as I got with it. At Frosty Frosting, or Frosty Frostings, there was this competitive, there was a competitive Puyo Puyo Tetris that was there. I think a total of 60 people entered it. I had no clue what the hell was going on in that entire game. Puyo but Puyo. it was amazing. There's a Enter? bunch of different Puyo Puyo Tetris formats. I have no formats. idea what that game is. It's no like, idea. It's like, a, it's like Dr. Mario. That well, doesn't help. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine. I played, I played a lot of that. Yeah. But that was never one. Well, Puyo Puyo was on the Genesis. It's a Sega property. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Well, I'm Nintendo explaining why you wouldn't have played it. Nintendo owns it now. It doesn't they don't. No, Sega still owns it. Sega puts yeah. it on the Switch. Whatever. 
I saw Nintendo owning it. <laughs> Sega does uh, with Nintendo. <laughs> Actually, you know one of my favorite Sega fan days. What? The best game that Sonic has been in in the past five years is Super Smash Brothers. Oh god. Yeah. No, it's uh, Sonic and Mario the 2018 Olympic Games. Come oh on. my god. <laughs> I tried to play the first one and the controls were so bad. I don't know how they made a second. But they just keep getting better. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Have you ever tried to play Sonic, uh, Riders? Yeah, I had the trial of it on my Xbox, the Get Connect version. <laughs> what the- that exists? Okay, I'm pretending that doesn't exist, just for a bit. Because there's, like, apparently some kind of, like, competitive scene for it. That's so sick. For what? Sonic Riders. If there's a game that more than three people have played, <laughs> there's a competitive scene for it, I think. If three people play it consecutively, and they are trying to beat each other, they are yeah. competitive. Well, yeah, if you ever get three people in a room playing a game, you've just created the competitive scene. Apparently there was a Sonic Riders tourney recently? Where? where? Do you where, know where, where it was? Where did this happen? And who were the two winners out of two? Oh my god, no. <laughs> it's just Mango. Okay, so... Okay, well, that that's credible enough for me to believe. Nothing on Twitter is false, so... <laughs> yeah. But, um, so I, I saw, like, a video about uh, Sonic Riders, and it was talking about the, like, Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, like, there's a mod for it. Dude, I tried to play that. I played the original on the GameCube, which is totally playable. I tried to play the one for the Wii, and it, like, only lets you use the motion controls, and I have to, like... It's impossible. So yeah, I can see how they modded it, just having the other controller in. Hey, they both did a thing. I know, I, we saw it, we saw it, we saw it. Um, Sonic Riders Tournament must knows. Alright, show me the forbidden knowledge. Is it not letting you select the text? Oh. I'm, I'm so intrigued now. Dude, I mean, there's competitive Kirby Air Ride. If there's a little bit of We're going there, we're going there. Uncle Punch made the mod pack for Kirby Air Ride. Oh, that's... Uh... I love that someone clearly set this up using HTML. They didn't even use, like, can, can square we, Can you just go to the top? I just want to see... Hey, guys. I see you're getting ready to play in your first Sonic Riders tournament. With this guy, I'm sure you'll fly high. Thanks, That's Dale. all I want. <laughs> Thanks, Miles. That's all I wanted. I just wanted it to talk to me like it was 2006 again. Wait, wait. Sonic Riders isn't owned by Sega. Sonic Riders software isn't owned by isn't owned by anybody. It's uh, just this dude. It's yeah. just this dude. I don't think yeah. Sega cares though. Sega's kind of relatively chill about it. If Nintendo saw it, if Nintendo had the IP, they'd be like, no. Oh, dude, oh. If, imagine if, yeah, imagine if someone registered like Mario Kart.org. I would be a millionaire. That's what was going to happen. Yeah. Oh yeah, if you register Mario Kart.org before Nintendo could, yeah. But if you like set up a Mario Kart.org website, it's down immediately. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't even use the actual name to have the name there. But, I mean... No, but fair, fair, fair. Dude, I think Bobby Frizz might lose this game. <laughs> the people that had the foresight to, like, mine all of the IPs and everything, oh, yeah. and now just hoard them, essentially have infinite wealth. Because as IPs get rarer and rarer, their value goes up and up and up and up. I, I mean, what you're saying to me is basically, I wish I was 10 years older than I am. Or yeah. to go back in time 10 years ago. But like, I think I think it's a really bad thing that like GoDaddy just like got all oh, of yeah. the domains and now you just have to buy a domain from them. Or through them, essentially. <laughs> I told you. That was a sick combo. I totally was paying attention. <laughs> it's also really funny that for the entire 2000s, GoDaddy's marketing campaign was just boom. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, I remember being a kid and I was like, what is this? 
I mean, of course I was like, you know... Tech companies were really into that for a while for some reason. Every tech company. I mean, company. of course, it's like bro culture, right? But it's... I don't know why you think that's good ads. No, I mean, um, like in the history of marketing, like that was what ads originally were on like TV. You, you know, like they were just like, oh yeah, let's appeal to like people's like base human instincts. And then eventually they like... Got boards of sensors and whatnot. Yeah, once, once the, like people like got used to it, then they got desensitized to it and they had to like make it so like ads were more surreal. That's why you have that like weird like era in the early 2000s where there's just like uh like puppy monkey baby ads that yeah, like yeah, are yeah. like okay I hate yeah. to yeah. bring it to you drops. puppy monkey baby was 2016 really yeah oh my god no there's no way I it was what I will bet you money it was 2016 I thought it was like 2006 Jesus Christ you're right what does the but... world come to I mean, but yeah, like, the, you know, people have just gotten more and more absurd, so that, like, it's more memorable. Well, right. now it's... Parts of what works, right? It's kind of it's kind of swung the other way at this point. Like, I feel like most advertising, with the exception being alcohol companies, which have started taking, like, heavy-handed swings at each other in their ads. Oh. Yeah, I, I remember that. Like, every Michelob Ultra ad features a different beer for 85% of its run time. Yeah. I remember seeing an ad recently and I was like, what is this? And it, the gross out ads of the 90s. This is so true. The ads, but other than that, I feel like it swung the other way where ads are really subdued. It's kind of just like list of features. Here's why you want to buy, buy our product, buy. I think that they just have so much like are like info on who they are sent, like sending the ad to now that, that yeah. like it's just so targeted. No, it's actually, we've seen an evolution of advertisement rather recently towards, uh, just brand Twitter. Like, oh, yeah. like an actual, like, pretending to be a person on Twitter. Yeah, the, like, especially on Instagram, and like those ads. Oh, well, that's like astroturfing, though. No, 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 no. Well, yeah, kind of. You're not wrong. Uh, but at the same time, you can't block Sunny G for, well, you can, but you know what I mean? <laughs> Like, yeah. you're, you're, you like, if, if Saudi D is trending, I, uh, are you gonna, yeah. you, you're gonna see it, right? Yeah. And on, t I mean, on Twitter, you can just, like, pay to be trending. True. You can also just pay true. Twitter to be on the trending page. I mean, I mean the trending, I on my $8. listen, as a Twitter expert, the trending tab has just gotten worse and worse and worse and worse. <laughs> it doesn't even have anything to do with Elon. It's been actually better since Elon's taken oh, over, shit. just because all the trending topics have been really funny. <laughs> I honestly, I got back into Twitter because of Elon, because I was like, this is going to be a shit show, and I want to see it. And then you know, like it was for like a week or two, and then I was like, kind of, I don't know, it's like kind of the same. It it's the same, but everyone is just angrier. Yeah. <laughs> and it's hard to even not join in on that. Like, I'm also way angry on Twitter. Yo, have you gone off on JK Rowling yet? Uh, I think I'm blocked by JK. That's good. Also, uh, what's Um, trans rights. Just so we're clear. Let's cut the talk on that. Actually. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I was just no, I can tell going you. on with the bit. Got some great Bobby facial expressions. My favorite is Bobby. Looks... This is the only reason I've required ass off now at the video. Is just watch people oh, with, like that's... expressions on screen. Dude, I just. Oh god. All right, I'm going required to say masks something. Required off is kind of bad phrasing. I'm going to say something completely. No masks funny. allowed. Take that off, Lamb. True. True. That's exactly what I mean. What are you afraid of? <laughs> You're 17 and spry. <laughs> I've got a cough in your face now, liver. <laughs> no, I'm glad no one actually does that around oh. here. I feel... Did you guys see that shorten? Yeah, Game I did. He's about to die and he shortened it. It was so good. That's what you gotta do. Dude, I, like, never in my life have actually, maybe once in my life, have I done it. Oh! oh. Word. 
Now, tell me if I'm wrong, but it just feels oh. impossible to get out of disadvantage versus bots. Uh, it, it kind of is. Like, it's just like if you're against a competent opponent, just, it's ridiculous. Yeah, you you do, you start the game in disadvantage, the game starts and you're already in disadvantage. True. That's how Fox works. R.I.P. my poor game and watch. I, I love the commentary we're giving. You know, people don't like top player commentary. We've got bottom player commentary here. <laughs> Fox, unbeatable. Mark, unbeatable. Sheik, unbeatable. <laughs> Yo, you know who is beatable? Not even Luigi. I hate that character. Screw <laughs> Luigi, dude. Stupid down B, gotta charge it. Well, he slides between every stop. Yeah, he slides across the stage and spins around or something. It's yeah, crazy. He, he should auto towns. Like, why does he get like soap feet? I want soap feet. Oh. I love it. Okay. Tragic. Yes. Tragic. Talk about a game for 30 seconds challenge. Oh my gosh, no, the down smash. Dude, I just want to talk about his mouth movements. They're really something else. The problem is their gameplay just their gameplay just speaks for itself. Like, yeah. oh my god, Bobby's neutral was so strong oh, there. The no. Oh my god, great. That was, was such a good coverage with the jab. That was so he was moving exactly as far as he needed. 